Hey, it's been a while since I've actually uploaded. And by the title, you probably know that this is a Canon showcase video. There's just some few things I want to get through first, just to clear up some misunderstandings. So yes, I've been gone for a while, and I should be uploading because I'm getting more serious into YouTube now. And there'll be videos such as explaining cubics and how to OSRB, that kind of stuff. Now, with this video, and for the people that actually haven't read the title, yes, this is a Canon Showcase video. And with that, you may be wondering what kind of Canon am I releasing today? What could top a 254 stack or what could top a 255 stacker that has a 40 chunk AP? Well, it's not really to top those, but it's not a 255. It's not a 254. Is it a worm? No. It's a five stacker. Now, this is a very simplistic five stacker. And I'll get into what it does very soon enough. I just want to explain that there's going to be a lot of cannons looking similar like this that I'll be uploading. The reason why that is, is because they are very similar. What they're going to have in common is power, how far they shoot, their floating ranges, their barrel stack OSRB, and the only thing that's really going to differ is just how much sand it stacks and if it has a rev nuke or not, which I'll get into the schematics later for how you can actually download the cannon. Now, I want to also say that my other cannons, my 255 and my 254, they currently don't work on Lemon Cloud consistently. They may work in some areas of the server, but they may not. It, at least that's what I've been hearing in the feedback I've been getting. So, with this, I can't promise that all these cannons are going to work on Lemon Cloud or your specific server. All I can say is that they work on Crystal. That is currently the cannon server as I'm using, as you can see in the middle right of the screen. Now, I have tested this specific cannon on Lemon Cloud, and it does do what it intends to do, which, again, I'll get into soon enough. But, like I said, even if this one works, and, you know, you may think, oh, well, if this one works, then the other ones are going to work, considering how they're pretty much the exact same thing. I can't promise that, neither. All I can say is that I've tested them, and that they've worked for me on here. Now, you can join my Discord to see what kind of other cannons are going to be released in this kind of sort of fashion. And you see the progress as I'll be going through it. But essentially what's going to happen is, just a quick rundown, is I'm going to start with a 5 stacker. I'm going to get up to a 255. So make sure that you keep up to date with the videos I've been posting. Because you may miss a cannon uh, that you may want. Okay, now to get into what this cannon can actually do. So what this cannon can do is, it's a 3 second. And it can OSRB, as stated by this red sand over here. So, I'll get into the toggling later, but I'm just going to run through what it can do. So it can OSRB, it's a 3 second. It can rev nuke, and it can rev nuke sand walls. It can double tap regens, to a certain extent. And it has slab bust. And slab bust kind of gets into... It gets a bit complicated later on as slab bust and osrb don't like working together so i'm just going to showcase that later and what i'm going to do with this cannon is i'm going to shoot through all these walls about 41 flat walls and there's a regen and there's two mine chats and i'm going to do it with no protection blocks in the cannon the cannon's fully watered you can find the schematics in the description there's going to be two folders i'll get into greater detail later on i should mention also that i am firing east west so there's east, there's west, and you see in the top left corner there, and you can also see at the very top of my screen, east and west. So this cannon should be able to east-west flow on servers that have east-west patch on. It should, it works on crystal. So if your cannon server, or if your faction server is similar to crystal in terms of cannon jar and cannon mechanics, then this cannon should be just fine for it. So this cannon, you can't really adjust it's Y level. It's a five stacker, so you can't really go down, you can't really go up because it's pretty much at its max Y level already. So it says five, so it stacks five sand and it stacks the one shot at Y6. Simple. So you can't change the Y level, but you can change the X level. So I have it set over here to aim there. Now it has a float range of about 66 blocks from your exposure, so essentially your sand and your hammer will continue to work up until this point so this is the max it can float to so you if you want to do a barrel it would be right there like so that far from cannon 
more or less two and a half chunks from actual cannon. So two full chunks and about a half as you get like four to five there and you get about just a little bit there. Now on most cannons, I actually fixed this last short notice. So the people that did get the scam early on, which in my discord I do sometimes release cannons without explanations, but I released the scams for a certain amount of time. You may want to join to somehow, you know, figure out that there are notifications in there. I can't really do that for YouTube, but because, uh, you know, not monetized yet. So uh, join the discord, you may find out that uh, there's some things you can get that people that aren't in the discord can't get. So 66 blocks from this exposure for the float range, which is pretty decent for a cannon that goes 36 chunks forward is its max range. I've tested that, it doesn't go further than 36 chunks reliably, so you can continue from here all the way 36 chunks forward, which is pretty okay considering how, you know, it's a pretty low, it's an okay cannon, like it's sort of compact a little bit. Uh, it's pretty simple, and the wiring apparently I've been told is good, so I mean, I got that going. So I guess uh, let's, let's start firing, I've pretty much explained everything I wanted to. So, there's slabs, I'm just going to be rev nuking every single wall, which is going to be fun. So, to toggle rev nuke, you go here and you toggle rev nuke. It's a orange block. When you see an orange block, it's a toggle block for any big segment. It's like a rev nuke. And I want delay hybrid, which is over here. Now, delay hybrid, this is the thing I changed last notice because I wanted this can to be better for people. I had it to where you could only double tap. You would use delay hybrid for double tap. And again, I'll get more into that later. But essentially, you would, to double tap, you would have to have two shots in there, and you had, and then you would have to button spam, and then you would have to repeat that process, and that's slow. So I have this little toggle system, which Brojo actually indirectly helped me with. I saw one of his cannons, and I saw him do it a different way. So essentially, what he did to toggle was essentially he had this so whenever this got quick pulsed this would shoot up but it would still pass a redstone signal through so that repeater would still get ticked the second shot would come in so after the first shot so after this goes up this would come through quick pulse it would hit this and then this would go down again but this wouldn't go off so essentially that toggles every shot delay hybrid so one shot would have delay hybrid, second shot wouldn't. So this is helpful for backstacking. Place that there. So essentially what this is going to do is, it's gonna, first shot, it's gonna come in, it's gonna hit this, that's gonna quick pulse this, which is gonna quick pulse the piston, pushing the stone block there, which then a few ticks later, this redstone pulse goes through and goes through for delay hybrid. So that's first shot. So first shot will have delay hybrid, second shot comes in, takes this, quick pulses this redstone, quick pulses this piston, pulling that stone back. A few takes later, this redstone signal comes through and it doesn't actually get to the repeater. So second shot doesn't have delay hybrid, so you then have a backstack second shot. You'll see this later in the actual video. Should mention there are timestamps, click to the time that you need to. It helps that way, this video might be a bit long. So I don't need instant hybrid and I don't need one shot region bus sand. But I do need slab bust, which is this here. Little tip, if you don't need to slab bust, don't slab bust. It ruins the OSRB shot and it just brings a whole bunch of complexity into the shot and how stuff gets calculated. So if there's a slab, slab bust. If there's no slab, don't slab bust, simple. If you're autoing, well, or button spamming, autoing and button spamming, same thing, just different rules. That, whatever, I mean, if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So, for this, I'm just going to, I believe I have everything. I guess what I actually wanted to say is, if you are trying to rev nuke every wall like I am, turn this on. This means that this piston will always be pushed, meaning this redstone signal will always go into here. So there's not going to be any toggling. So down means that this is actually always going to fire. So delay hybrid is always going to fire, which you want for rev nuking, as you will see very, very soon. Now, uh, there's not going to be a lever on this cannon, because, or at least for the redstone here. So if you ever do want to auto just place a lever right there, it's going to be just fine. 
So, let's get this cannon actually firing at walls, as you see there. Okay. Let's place that there. Ah, yes, nothing in shot control. To some, it's a blessing. To some, it just is a pain. But for me, I love it. It helps a lot in raids, and especially if you need to only do a certain amount of shots, then it helps so your cannon doesn't run on a TNT and stuff like that if you want to be efficient, conservative. But let's fire this. You see it rev nukes. Rev nukes all the way to sky limit. That's, pre that's pretty much bed to sky right there. It's really close. Obviously it doesn't get, you know, some four blocks or whatever. Three. But yeah. While this is going through the walls, it's a good time to say that this is supposed to be a simple cannon, not your all-the-one generalized cannon for every single raid. It's just meant to be a five stacker. It's not anything complicated. Rail stack OSRB. You don't need rev nuke, don't have rev nuke. And I guess to show you that it does actually rev nuke sand walls all the way to sky limit. So one wall, one shot. Shooting some sand back, but obviously as you can see, it's not a problem. So just gonna keep going through these walls normally. It's a nice cannon. So we are gonna run into the situation later that I am gonna show for the actual OSR being. It's not gonna be able to OSR be with slab bust. So to actually regen bust, you wanna get rid of the slab first with a normal shot and then OSR be. I'll showcase a shot with slab bust and OSRB on. You'll see what I mean. But this cannon does work. It just, it's not perfect. I could have got it to work with slab bust, but then it, the cannon would be a lot more complicated and that ruin the, you know, the sort of general gist of the cannon, which is supposed to be a bit more simple for simple raids. And it is a very simple cannon, so. there to the regen and you see that I have the perfect amount of shots when it gets to the last wall it's not gonna actually blow up the last wall or, well it is but it's not gonna blow up the regen see that shot didn't rev nuke for obvious reason for obvious reasons so now that we're done with this now we're just going to have an OSRB shot so you can keep delay hybrid on if you want to I'm gonna take it off if you do keep delay hybrid on with an OSRB shot, it's just going to take away the sand. I'm just going to show you that it does barrel stack OSRB. So this over here is the toggle for the sand for the OSRB. And this over here is the OSRB hammer, which is the instant hybrid. I didn't mention that before, but yes, this thing does instant hybrid. So if there's any lava water walls in your way and you have some weird genning mechanics on your server, which isn't vanilla, I'll showcase that soon. Okay, so we have OSRB on. We don't need a rev nuke on. Take that off. And that's it. That's, oh yeah, what slab bust is on, as you can see. So I'm just going to turn on this and I'm gonna press the button. I'm gonna fly over there as fast as possible. As you can see, it did not regen bust. Oh no, who could have saw that coming? So that's what's going to happen if you try to do it. It'll bust the wall, but it won't actually, you know, bust the regen. So, simple fix. Take off slab bust. Fire again. Some sand was falling down while that was happening. I'm just going to rebuild the regen ever so quickly. Actually, no, I won't. I will showcase this cannon from its failures. So red sand's popping down. That's why I don't like slab bust. It really starts to mess with your cannon. And your shots. So, fire. I'm gonna wait for the shot to come in. There you go. So as you can see, it always her be just fine. Now, 
this is a barrel stack OSB. So if you look at the red sand, look at my cursor there. So level five, there's a five stacker. I go over here, not changing my Y level. You can see that it is a barrel stack OSRB. Simple. So for servers that you have weird genning lava mechanics on, I'll showcase that soon. Not the actual weird genning part, but to showcase that crystal is different than the other servers. So I'm gonna keep OSRB on. Everything else that was previously on, I'm gonna keep that on. I'm just gonna enable delay hybrid to show you that it does blow up the stack. Now it's very helpful for when you do want to blow up your stack and then fire again, as will be demonstrated. blows up the stack just nicely. I'll fire again. There you go. You saw that piece of stone there. That's what's gonna happen on servers that have weird lava jetting mechanics. This what you're seeing here is vanilla. This is vanilla water generation or cobblestone generation. It's not gonna actually gen a block there. But on other servers, you're gonna have a block gen there. So then that's a pain in the butt to get through because they can't actually bust that and they can't get through it. There are simple ways where you just barrel stack and it'll get rid of that. But as you can see, our barrel's actually down here. Is our barrel. So we're actually firing under this. So you're not clipping at all. So you don't have to waste a shot or something. Just to showcase that. See, barrel, you go right through. So that's the helpful thing for barrel stack OSRB. And then you hit the mine chat. So now that you've seen the barrel stack OSRB work and things like that, I'm gonna showcase double tap, which is what a lot of people are probably here for because there's not many cannons on Lemon Cloud or other servers, which yes, I know the majority of my people that do watch my videos are from Lemon Cloud. They don't know of a way to legally double tap, which this here kind of makes it legal. So I'm just gonna do a normal shot. I'm gonna take off this. I'm gonna showcase an instant hybrid shot. Take off the OSRB sand. So the only two things, I guess the only thing is going to be instant hybrid and there you go, slab bust is now on because there was a slab on that wall. I'm just fly over there and press button. As you can see, that was an instant hybrid shot because there's no water flowing backwards. And it wasn't an OSRB shot because there's no water flowing forwards. So now what you do is you turn on delay hybrid and you take off your, you take off instant hybrid, obviously. So for double tapping, place a redstone there, flick this off. So now it's gonna be toggled. It's gonna be an easy way to calculate your how many times you need a back stack and then you can just button spam with a back stack. So you don't need sand like that. Take off instant hybrid. You can keep slab bust on. So if I go over to the wall, that's everything for cannon, by the way, that you need to toggle on and take off. So what's gonna happen is, you know, you need, so one shot, there's gonna be a block gen here. So two shot, the second shot's gonna be there and third back stack, I should say back stack. So you know that you're, there's gonna be three stacks back here. So that means you, you're gonna fire six times. So that's what double tap is, is just your cannon firing twice. Or at least that's what a lot of it, or that's what a lot of cannons do is it just fires twice. So you double the amount of shots you need. Okay, just quick cut. I don't know what happened, but it fixed itself. Essentially a double tap somewhere, so Sorry, I had to get rid of the back stacks. As you see, it, it did start to do stuff. So let me just do that again. Put in six shots, see what I need to do. Six shots already in there. Yep. Get this firing again. So everything else was the same. So we'll stack there, just fine. Stack back there. Yo. 
Now, I miscalculated because this five stack is a bit different. It actually stacks one above barrel height and barrel height. So that's barrel height right there, one above. So it's actually, it would have clipped on this, but it didn't. So now we're here. So now I only need two shots in cannon. Two shots will be to bust the regen and you'll see. Wait for that repeater to go, and two shots. There goes the regen. Nice, right? It's gonna gen. I'm probably gonna clip on that, so I'm just gonna auto through that. I'm gonna fire with instant hybrid shots a few times. You just get the enabled just to show you that the cannon was on the previous thing. So it had slab bust and it had it did not have instant hybrid and it did not have OSRB sand. But it did have delay hybrid with that off. As you can see, next shot it would it, uh, it would delay hybrid. But thing is, I don't want delay hybrid. I want instant hybrid. And since there's no slabs, turn off slab bust. I'm gonna fire like three times, four times, four times just to be sure. I'm just gonna fire away. Just gonna get through this mess of stacks. Easily. Let's blow up that. Blow up that. So we got three of these. And then four shots. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that it does float, I guess. Or, I mean, that's pretty much all the cannon really does. There's not really much you can do at this point. So, yeah, that's cannon. You can find the schematics for this cannon in the video description down below. There's going to be two folders, one with the rev nuke attachment and one without. This is just simply for people that, you know, want to use the five stacker with all of its capabilities, but without the rev nuke, because the rev nuke is just its own thing. It doesn't need to be on the cannon for the cannon to work. So it just help save the actual time. In each of the folders, there's going to be a cobble version, a obsidian version, and a stone version. And each of those versions are going to have a watered version. So each folder is going to hold six schematics. So there's going to be 12 schematics in total. Pick which one that will fit your needs. And hopefully I'll be good enough. Okay, let's get into water and cannon. A usual routine that I like doing for water and cannon is getting all the boosters. Usually they're pretty simple to get. You just do a nice circle around cannon to get them. And it tends to be very consistent so just get all the boosters and you'll be fine for powers you just simply put water there and it won't flow anywhere there's two boosters here don't worry about the big parts just yet those are really easy to do just focus on the boosters right now two boosters here and i just realized something let me get a ladder there you go now that's like a, the rest of the cannon. So, booster there. Two boosters here. Booster back here. And you see that we're back here. I believe that's all the boosters. I believe so. Yep. And for this power, don't forget, just place it there. It won't blow anywhere else. And now, time for the big parts. So, get the hammer here by placing water like so. Get the power here, placing water like so, and same thing for this. Pretty simple procedure. And that should be entirety of water cannon, or entirety of the cannon being watered. So. Now to show that this is all good, fine, and dandy, I'm just going to put the cannon on auto for a few shots. It's going to hit right here. I'm going to see it. It's going to be nice. It's going to be beautiful. Everything's on, so that's on. Delay hybrid's on. Also, B sand is on. Instant hybrid is on. Slab bust is on. And rev nuke. Now, let's finish the video.
Now this is going off, I guess I should actually do an outro. If you liked the video, then click that like button. Check out the rest of my channel. I post mainly about canon, so if you want to see more, click that subscribe button bell notification icon to get notified when I post. It helps out both me and the channel, and shows support for the content I create. And like that, that's the end of the video.